Hello, hello everybody. Today I will be making uh, zucchini wraps. I have done this before, but I haven't done it like measuring it. This is like kind of not too small zucchinis. They're kind of chubby. So I'm going to grate them. You can use a food processor. It has to be more fine. If it's chunky, you have to regrind it again in the food processor. So I'm going to grate this. I'm going to use a grater this time for those that don't have a food processor. And then I'm going to squeeze out all that juice grabbing a clean cloth so I will just be doing silent so that way I'm telling you from now that I'm gonna get a clean cloth after I grate it and then squeeze all the juice out as much as I can and then um, we'll proceed to the next step So that's the amount of liquid I got out from three of those small zucchinis. It's a lot, even though I have carpal tunnel syndrome, so it's hard for me to squeeze a lot because there's still some liquid in there, but my hands hurt a lot. It's good for me. Okay, in this batter, I'm going to add two eggs. All right, so I mix it up very well. It's a little bit liquidy, but it's okay, I guess, because uh, it was like that before and it came out perfectly. So to this, I'm going to add garlic and a little bit of salt. You, or if you wish, you can add other spices. It's your choice. It's Okay, so you're gonna grab a tray and just put parchment paper. I sprayed it a little bit so it's easier for it to come out. And then I'm just gonna put the batter on top and just shape it whatever way you wanna shape it, rectangle, round, it's your choice. All right, so in the oven, this is gonna go for 10 minutes or until golden brown in the edges at 350 Fahrenheit. I'll be back when it's done. Since I have a little bit of batter left, I'm going to use the dash griddle, which is the eight inch one. I'm not promoting it, absolutely not. I do love it because it helps making a lot of things. So I'll be using this, I'm waiting for it to heat up. This is how it came out. It's not the same when you do it on the griddle, right? It's nice, I'll move this one side. It's nice and uh, flexible, as you see this, it's nice. The same thing, this is flexible, but the problem is it's not golden on the top, okay? So that's the only difference. You can turn on the broiler, so that way it gets a little golden on the top. 
I don't know, I think my little small oven is malfunctioning and I don't want to turn on the big oven for just this little bit, right? It's already cooked. You can see it's cooked. It's flexible as well. It might need five more minutes, but it's cooked. Don't throw this water away. Use it for your plants. This is plant food, okay? Fill the rest with regular water and give it to your plants. All right, so here's the results. Uh, I should have just done it in the griddle. I did it before in the oven, in the small oven that I have, uh, and it worked perfectly fine. But for some reason, I guess, started malfunctioning. So I just finished uh, browning it uh, in my griddle. And this is how it turned out. I just hope you try it out. You see how flexible it is? I know you're probably gonna say it tastes eggy or something. No, it doesn't, not, not at all. You can't even taste the egg on it because of the zucchini. The same thing with these. It's really flexible. See, I just leave it like that. This one is thinner because I already did it directly on the griddle. But these ones are thicker and still it doesn't break. See that? I love these. It is kind of a, a little bit extra work to grate it or to use uh, the food processor. But uh, once in a while, yes, I would do it. That's how easy it is to make these uh, zucchini wraps or zucchini tortillas, however you want to call them. I had to cut the, the big one in half so it can fit in the griddle uh, otherwise I would have had a big uh, wrap so my friends if you're new subscribe don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos share 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 my videos and hope to see you again in the next video thank you all for watching bye